Alberta Weekly. Profiles and Biographies. Dr. Verna Mackey, you run the Avenida Chiropractor Wellness Center in Calgary. What do you do as a chiropractor? Oh, well, I get to help people. Every day, I go to work, and my agenda is to enhance the quality of people's lives. So, people may come to see me for all kinds of reasons, usually because they've got an ache or a pain or something like that somewhere, whether it's a headache or plantar fasciitis or carpal tunnel or sore low back. It's usually um, pain related, but it can be just for general stress. People come for all kinds of things. So what I do as a chiropractor is, um, well, my job is to try and figure out what the problem is. What's the issue here? What's the history of the issue? And what caused it? In other words, the etiology. And, um, and then to try and figure out the best way to help that person. So that you have to do your examination. So sometimes that involves sending people out for x-rays or this or that. Once you figure out what it is that's the most probable problem uh, at play is to figure out the best way uh, to help that patient with whatever treatment might be the best. You know, in truth, I'm committed to helping people and enhancing their lives, the quality of their lives. Um, who cares if we live to be 90 or 100 if we can't play with our grandkids? Who are your patients? Who aren't my patients? <laughs> patients come from everywhere. Every walk of life. Every kind of issue imaginable. Usually, patients are coming in with aches and pains. Usually. Um, and... But you know, I, my mother first took me to a chiropractor when I was two. And so I, the left side of my face went, and I was paralyzed. It was secondary to an ear surgery or whatever. But people come to us from all, for, from all walks of life and for all kinds of reasons. But to be introduced as a two-year-old to this as being, you know, second nature. Doesn't everybody go to chiropractors? That to me is just anybody and everybody for all sorts of things, especially now with all the postural strain. What should people expect from a visit to a chiropractor? Oh, when, when people go to see a chiropractor, I can tell you the chiropractor's job is to primarily figure out what's wrong and what's the best way to help them. And um, so that involves taking a history and trying to figure out what caused the problem and um, what's the best way to treat it, what it actually is, and then what's the best way to treat it. So that, that's, you know, you could say history, you know, duration, etiology, examination, uh, treatment and prognosis. I mean, that's what we would call it, but basically for a patient, they want to know, what's wrong with me? What do I need to do to fix it? And how can I get, I bet, you know, how can I get better the fastest and easiest as I can? Is chiropractor safe? Oh, yes. Chiropractic care is considered to be extremely safe. The, uh, the latest, there have been extensive research done. The latest uh, I saw that was really the most thorough the most thorough research I saw was pre uh, printed, I think, in 2008 in Spine, the Spine magazine. It's a really um, peer-reviewed journal um, all relating to the spine. And one, chiropractic care is non-invasive. That class is it is extremely safe. Two, it's um, extremely low risk. And Sometimes people worry about a neck adjustment, for example, a click, click, or whatever. You know, as long as the adjustment is well within the, the normal range of motion, I mean, there's less strain on the neck turning to shoulder check when they're driving. 
than there is from a neck adjustment. So it's extremely safe. And all the research more and more is proving that. Dispel myth, Dr. Verna. People are saying that once you see a chiropractor, you have to keep on going. Well, if it helps you, obviously, you're going to want to return. The bottom line is 87% of Alberta chiropractic patients have been very pleased with care and the results they got. So why wouldn't you go back if you had something else come up, right? Why wouldn't you? Um, but you know, it depends on what the problem is. I mean, sometimes somebody turns and sneezes and, you know, it's a matter of a simple rib sprain. That can be better in three to five days. It depends on what it is. I mean, somebody else comes in with a protruding disc or a degenerative arthritis, osteoarthritis, or chronic postural strain. I've got one girlfriend, 40 years as a paralegal. I mean, yeah, it's not like I'm going to treat her for a week. And it's not like you're going to treat this patient for a week or two or even six. They're going to be miraculously all better when they go back to the same postural strain six, eight hours a day or 10 hours a day, 40 hours a week. It's, it's not reasonable. The reason people return is because they, once they've experienced relief, they know they don't have to tolerate those aches and pains. They can go in for a chiropractic adjustment. They can go for a massage. They can get laser if there's something really inflamed. Uh, <laughs> I mean, is that an addiction? I don't know. I don't know. I love to dance. I'm not addicted. Thank you. Thank you, too, for having me. Alberta Weekly.